Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to compute the line integral of this vector field over this curve here C as t runs from 0 to 1. So we have to compute this integral here. So solution. So this integral is the same thing as the integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, of f of x of t, y of t, times, or dot, the derivative of r, dt. So it's a dot product here. Okay, it's a dot product. So here, uh, in this problem, this is our x of t, and this is our y of t. Okay, so all we do is we plug in x and y into this function here, and then r prime of t in this problem, well, the derivative of 3t plus 1 is 3, so we get 3i hat, and then the derivative of t is 1, so we get plus 1j hat. So this is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 1. All right now we're going to plug this in here, right? So this is going to be, I'll write it like this, f of 3t plus 1, comma, t, dot, and then we have 3i hat plus j hat dt, right? Just replacing r prime of t with, with what it is, and replacing x of t and y of t with what they are. Let's go ahead and evaluate this vector field at x and y. So this is going to be our x, so instead of x i hat, it'll be 3t plus 1 i hat, and then y is our t, so plus t j hat. So I'm going to put a bracket here dot 3i hat plus j hat dt. So now we have to take the dot product. So in the dot product what you do is you just multiply the corresponding components and then you add. So it'll be 3t plus 1 times 3. So we have the definite integral from 0 to 1 of 3t plus 1 times 3 plus and then we have t times 1. So t times 1. And all of this is with respect to t. So now we have a regular integral, right? Just a one variable integral. Pretty easy now. Um, once you get through the notation, it's not really not that bad. So 0 to 1. So 3t three to 3 is 9t. 3 times 1 is 3. And then you have a t here. dt. This is the definite integral from 0 to 1. t plus 9t is 10t plus 3 dt. Then we integrate like we normally would, do a regular integral in calculus. So we use the power rule, right? You have 10t here, so it'll be 10t squared over 2 plus, and then you integrate 3 and you get 3t, and we're going from 0 to 1. This is the same thing as 5t squared plus 3t, 0 to 1, and now it's a piece of cake, right? You plug in the 1 first, so you get 5 times 1 squared, which is 5, plus 3, minus, and then you plug in the zeros, so you just get 0 plus 0. So you end up getting 8. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful.